Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today begins the brand new Footballers promo in FIFA 23, and I think there's a reason to be excited. Based off of the loading screen and some of the information and leaks that we have, this promo might be bringing something we have been asking EA to put into FIFA for years. Now, hopefully they execute it and drop really great cards in doing so, but with that coming today, I want to talk about what to expect on the market with SBCs, and of course, are they going to put anything in packs? That's a big question we have for today because this promo is an SBC and objective based promo from what we know. So we'll talk about that. And of course, it's a big day for live cards. Fantasy foot cards are finally playing games that count for their upgrades. And we have live cards being upgraded early today with road to the final upgrades and a draw for the quarterfinal of the UCL happening that will affect player prices. We're going to talk about that at the start of the video. But if you are excited for the promo today, if you have some excitement for this new foot footballers promo hit the thumbs up and if you have not hit that subscribe button let's start by talking about road to the finals and of course cards getting upgraded today now last week we talked about upgrades happening on the 17th of march that's the date that ea has put on their website and we are expecting a lot of upgrades today especially from yesterday's thursday games martial Chiesa, diaby lamella and atal are all going to be getting plus ones today along with some of the champions league cards from earlier on the week like raspadori barella Alaba and I'm forgetting one Calvin Phillips right all those guys are going to be getting plus one upgrades today but with those upgrades specifically for a guy like Raspadori and some of these Champions League cards their prices could go up a little bit after the upgrade but a lot of people are waiting for this upgrade to sell the card because after today the next upgrades are not until mid April because we have a long international break upcoming we have a time away from Champions League and these other European competitions before we have the next games like honestly a month from now so just be very careful holding on to these cards because their prices could fluctuate from now until then but some of these upgrades are going to be taking place today specifically on this beautiful Diaby SBC going from an 89 to a 90 rated going to hit that 99 pace threshold today that's very very exciting and I'm talking about this first because this should happen early today the UCL quarterfinal draw is actually taking place at 11 a.m. UK time, uh, I believe today. So it's going to be early, and that's when I expect the upgrades to happen as well. With these cards upgrading, how will their prices move? I'm expecting some of them to go up, uh, but honestly, like we mentioned, and we see so many other times, a lot of people might still be holding on to these cards to sell when the upgrades happen. So for some of these guys that are getting plus ones, if their card's not going to look that special, with a plus one inform upgrade like these uh, road to the finals get then their prices might actually in turn drop a little bit because the card of course will be invested in a lot and people might want to sell that and take the coin so be careful these live cards again specifically because they have such a long time until they upgrade again that's the biggest thing that i wanted to cover first because that is the first thing we are going to see today in fifa are those road to the final upgrades so be careful with those cards selling on the hype is usually the play again uh, knowing that it's going to take a long time until they upgrade. Now, the promo at hand today, let's talk about footballers. First of all, we have some information about this promo after the loading screen dropped yesterday, right? Which was kind of a surprise to see Luis Diaz looking like Jurgen Klopp as a dynamic image, as one of the cards that I'm guessing we're going to see today in FIFA. Complete play to style objectives. We've been thinking about that. What does that mean? This leak from Foot Sheriff kind of describes that. Daily SBCs and objectives is what this promo is all about. Each will be the key to unlock higher versions. So I'm guessing you have to do an initial SBC or an objective to unlock a higher version of the card and you complete, you compete with those cards to get creative upgrades like new traits, stat boosts, and skill moves. Basically, you complete an SBC and you have the opportunity to upgrade the pl player with a play to style objective. Now, this is why I said in the beginning of the video, this is something people have been asking about in FIFA for forever. I know we had the Future Stars Academy objectives where you get a player and you level them up, but this is still a little bit different where it's a new way where you can play FIFA, get a card, do an SBC or an objective, and then as you play with that card and complete challenges, that player gets upgraded, right? And that is something we have not seen a lot of in FIFA and people have been asking for for forever. So this is less of like a buy the card and, you know, try to pack it type of promo. This is more of like, here's a card, you do an SBC, and then you go and take that card to the game and with gameplay and objectives, 
you upgrade it for dynamic images, for better stats, and for um, new traits and stuff like that. So that is what is cool about this promo. Now, the uh, leak, I guess, or what we already know is going to be dropped in the game at some point soon is this Luis Diaz, right? Luis Diaz does not have any... Pro uh, promo special cards this year. This is his first one. So there's hype around that as well. So I would assume that Luis Diaz might be a part of the game today or this weekend. I would imagine if he's on the loading screen that he's going to be one of the cards released. Now, of course, we have other leaks. We've seen the Mason Mount. Uh, we have new leaks, Dan Juma. We've got Kulusevsky. We've got Junior Firpo. And then, of course, we have two more, Oxlade Chamberlain, that's an older one, and Aiden McGeady. Now, there's one kind of common theme. As you look through these leaks, you'll notice it's basically entirely... Premier League players, besides the Aiden McGeady, but that might just be because it's St. Patrick's Day, right? Our uh, daily or our yearly Irish uh, or special version of Aiden McGeady. Seems like he gets a special card every single year on St. Patrick's Day. But we are getting a lot of Premier League cards. And is this promo going to be an entirely Premier League based promo? That's a question we're starting to ask because if it is, then that's kind of an L for a lot of people, especially if you don't run a full Premier League side, which I'm sure not everybody watching this video does because we've got so many other great leagues, so many other great players and types of players in FIFA that you need to link in your team other than just one league. So here's my thought on this. Maybe today is a day where they're going to release a lot of Premier League cards, but then going on throughout this next week of this promo, please hope the hopefully this is only a one week promo and not a two week promo but hopefully they kind of move on from Premier League maybe to like the league on maybe to La Liga and maybe they're going to kind of segment the leagues up throughout this week and if they're going to do that we might be getting a lot of cards and a lot of objectives and a lot of SPCs to do so the more cards the more SPCs and players we get that's great if the upgrades are not that hard to attain if the objectives are not that crazy to do like if you're telling me to get that upgrade of Luis Diaz you know standing on the sideline in the dynamic image with the hat on on the dynamic on the loading screen if I'm have to play like 30 games of squad battles for that no way but if you give me like 10 to 15 games and friendlies you know something like that okay i will i will do something along those lines right so that's where this promo could be a really big w or it could just be a promo that a lot of people are not super happy with because um, it's not a pack-based promo and it just would take too much work to get the SBC player or the objective player upgraded to whatever further versions are there. He also goes on further to say, as said, you can only unlock the higher version via objective if you complete the SBC. So that's kind of what it kind of boils down to today. This is a really grindable promo idea and we like it. It's just different and that's what is pretty cool. Now, the biggest question we have too is what's going to be in packs because a lot of you guys, myself included, I've started saving some packs, 83 times 10s, other upgrade packs from, you know, objective, um, just random 50k packs. I don't know where that came from, right? 84 times one 85 times two so i've started a little bit of a pack save because there's nothing in packs right now it's not worth it to open is ea going to have something in packs today i feel like they're going to guys i really feel like they're going to do a best of or um you know some sort of re-release cards back in packs i just don't think ea can go without doing that because especially if this is going to be an SBC based promo they have to give us some sort of reason to open packs and if there's no other reason to open packs except to get fodder people might be skipping out on these SBCs and skipping out on the objectives if the players are too overpriced and if there's no way to get SBC fodder so I think they're going to do a best of re-release today that's just my opinion we'll talk more about the market here a little bit later but backing up that opinion is some of the pack code that's been added now we've looked at a few of these packs before but just to reinforce and look at some new pack codes ea have dropped a lot of these store packs right the elite new year review pack there's a couple new year review packs a premium new year review pack and they all guarantee players from previous promos winter wild cards centurions team of their honorable mention and future stars are all players that are going to be inside of these store packs i would imagine all of these packs are untradeable like we talked about yesterday but these are the types of promos i could see being involved in some sort of mini release um not mini release but re-release of cards and packs today Day. So just watch out for those. A 10 coin pack, we love it anytime something like this is added in. And if they're going to add a 10 coin pack, there's got to be something in packs too, right? So that's why I feel like kind of strongly now that EA is going to put some sort of cards in packs today. And it also seems like we're going to be getting foot birthday swaps because this card design is literally called foot birthday swaps. It is in the game, as you just saw when we started the video. 
it's in the search under the transfer market. So is that coming today or is that just EA adding this car design into the game uh, early? I'm not entirely sure. That's something yet to be known, but maybe the foot birthday promo is kind of starting early as well with we're starting the swaps program. That is kind of something we'll hopefully learn about today as well. And uh, a couple more packs that were added an 85 plus mixed campaign pack. This to me sounds like a pretty fun SBC. This is an SBC pack in my opinion. It could be in the store, I suppose, but contains one ones to watch out of positions, winter wild cards, team of your honorable mentions, or FF, I guess that's foot fantasy. I mean, that's the promo that just went out of packs guys. And that's a live card promo. 85 plus or higher. Yeah, you could get a once to watch in this, and that seems like an L. I understand the not super fun aspect of this because th there's some old promos in there, but that seems like an SBC to me, and I think it should be cheaper if it is released, and it should be dropped sometime in the next coming days. And then, of course, there's a couple more packs, New Year Review Foundations, and then a Super Loans Team Pack. So a lot of really interesting packs that have been added to the code as well. Most of them untradeable. Most of them probably going to be packs released in the store to try to get you to open them to try to pack some cards from previous promos. So if there are going to be cards re-released in packs today, let's say Winter Wild Cards Jaden Sancho is released, right? What's going to happen? Obviously, he's going to get packed. I would imagine that EA would run some lightning rounds. People would open some saved up packs just because it would give them a reason to open saved up packs. And you would see whatever is in packs drop, right? Supply. It would bring those cards to the market and their prices would drop. Um, and that's something we would expect today, of course. But Something I would also expect to see today would be a mix up of all these different promo cards. And, you know, like Benzema was in the last re release that we had, or, you know, like the team of the year honorable mentions Harry Kane was in that last re release. And you, you guys saw what happened when these guys got re released. These guys' price dropped down a ton because they got supplied more. There were just more of them on the market and they were in packs, right? That happens every time they do a re release. So, that would be the only part of the market that really has some danger upcoming for it today is if they do some sort of pack re-release, I think you would see those cards dropping off in value. So just be careful. If you see that release today at 6 p.m. around the content drop time, uh, then you know maybe take a look at your team, sell a few cards if you have to because those cards being in packs for a week would absolutely drop. Now on the other side of things, as we mentioned, this promo looks like it might be dropping a lot of Premier League cards based off of the leagues at least today so that has me thinking if you're trying to make some coins on the market today if this promo drops a set of good cards that people are very interested to go out and do some of your Premier League cards specifically Liverpool ones because we have two Liverpool cards leaked right now we've got Luis Diaz and Oxlade Chamberlain uh, especially with the belief that Oxlade Chamberlain and Aiden McGeady would be the cards that would drop today uh, Aiden McGeady because St. Patrick's and Oxlade Chamberlain uh, just one of the earliest leaks and uh, leaks that people People expect to see in the game today watch out for some of your Premier League links especially on your heroes and especially uh, on some of those club links right we know club links are just so important to getting chemistry in this year's FIFA game this is where I'm gonna be looking to make some coins today like let's say they drop a bunch of um, Premier League players heroes like this Ledley King or the Crouch or maybe like World Cup Dirt Kite World Cup Harry Cool. those would be cards you would want to keep a close eye on because they could go up a bit in price if people are building teams around the brand new cards that they're maybe uh, able to get from SBCs or objectives today so watch out very closely for that that's kind of a big part of the promo today is is it actually going to be based around Premier League or is that just how the leaks have kind of uh, shaken out so far up until now now also since this is an SBC based promo we have to talk about SBC fodder and the first thing I want to draw your attention to is look at the SBC section right now and notice when a lot of these SBCs are expiring a couple of these guys nine days for Dante 30 for Julian Brandt brand new play of the month yesterday very good to craft over this next month to get an 89 rated fodder card but take a look at this so many of these SBCs specifically the foot fantasy players since the games start today are expiring today. Depay, Sergi Darder, the Gomez. Um, you've got some of the SPCs I've already completed that are not showing up in here, right? Like uh, Rashika, Angel Gomez, Sabitzer, um, the mixed campaign player pick, the Nick Lima SPC, and the 83 times 10. A lot of those SPCs are going away today, which in my opinion means we might actually see some dropping prices on the lower tier side of the market, specifically with the 83 times 10 and the campaign player pick going away today. If there are cards and packs, people will be opening packs. EA could potentially run some lightning rounds. I do think that would make 82s, 83s, 84s, and potentially 85s go down in value 
a little bit. Now we still have the icon pack that's going to be out. And if we have really good SBC players, again, like I mentioned today, there would be, you know, a lot of demand for SBCs still, but these type of gamble pack SBCs, you guys know, have so much demand on this game. So watch out for low tier fodder because it could be a really good investment if it drops down tonight. If you have some of this stuff, I still think with these packs that are going away, it would be a good time to sell. The only reason it would not be a good time to sell fodder on the low tier only would be if there's not a special team in packs today, no cards in packs, then people would have no reason to open packs and why would fodder go down, right? Maybe it would go down a little bit because again, the SBC is expiring, but that's just one thing to consider. High tier fodder i would continue to hold i would really continue to hold because we have the icon upgrade that is out and at this moment in time we know when the mbappe player of the month is going to be coming it was tweeted officially yesterday by the league one twitter account and a little video right and at the end of the video it said that on tuesday the 21st of march is when we are going to be getting the mbappe player of the month and uh fifa romania is leaking this and saying that it should be around three and a half million coins be careful with this, guys, because never do we ever see leaked SBC requirements. So take this with a pinch of salt. It could be spot on. It also, um, unless he's got the right information, it could be just the guess. So he also saying it's not going to require any 90 rated squads, maximum of 89, which you might think, Nate, would that hurt high rated fodder? Not at all. If you take a look at how to complete the cheapest 89 rated squad, you'll actually see that a lot of 90s and 91s are included. And then you fill out the rest of the squad with like, 86s, 85s, 87s to get that rating up to an 89 and it makes the SBC cheaper that way. So I would not sell your high rated fodder with the icon upgrade and with Mbappe coming early next week. There is a lot of demand there and you see more mentions about a foot birthday token system. Foot, birth, uh, foot Sheriff also mentioned, he said by completing a play two style objective, you can also unlock a foot birthday team one pack by March 24th which March 24th would take us to not this Friday, but next Friday. So imagine if we all start next Friday with a foot birthday guaranteed team one pack on the first day of the promo, that would be pretty hype. That'd be a great way to start off foot birthday. So keep an eye out for some sort of foot birthday team one pack today, completable and redeemable in any sort of objectives in this game. So again, guys, today's promo it really comes down to how EA deliver. It really does. Because if EA drop great players with great stats um, and a lot of fun players that we could go out and do through objectives and SBCs, that will give people a lot of motivation to go and grind. And if you're somebody <clears throat> who likes to play this game, you're going to love this sort of grind. If you're somebody who just likes SBCs, likes to try the players out in competitive game modes like Rivals and Foot Champs and stuff like that, I do think today could seem like an L for some people in terms of the quality of the content as well, because it's not pack based. It's not the usual type of promo. It is just different, but we can't complain too much because this is something, again, as you think about it as a community, people have always been asking for more grindable content and content that they can just go out um, and try to get done without having to spend money to spend real life money on FIFA points or even spend coins sometimes uh, to go get brand new cards uh, to try out for their teams. And this is a promo that does exactly that. So I think you're going to see a lot of mixed reviews. We're going to be live streaming this promo when it drops today. Twitch.tv slash the foot account. Link is down below in the description. And uh, Martinelli, of course, with Arsenal losing in penalties yesterday, is down horrendous. Quick tip if with this card. He went from 1.2 million coins down to 400. I bought one there. He's had a couple fluctuations um, in between now and then. He's back up to about 440. I do believe this Martinelli card will have another round of panic selling early today on Friday. Watch out for some more panic. He might go down below 400K or in the low 400s, and then that might be his lowest point for a couple of days, especially if there's any Arsenal players dropped in this promo. You might start to see his price go back up. Of course, if we get a really great Luis Diaz, that might make his price go a little bit down. But I'm still very invested with the fantasy foot cards because again, guys, today is the day, especially for a guy like Isak. These guys are playing today, right? Newcastle, legit play today against Nottingham Forest. What should you be doing with these cards? If you want to hold for the long term, <clears throat> for the potential upgrades, then that is a decision you have to decide and you have to make today with this Isak. 
I'm, you know, I'm going to be watching the game very closely. I have three of them at 297,000 coins. I'm not making a ton of coins right now. The safe play always is to sell into the hype because if Isak does not start today or even does not play or if they don't score a goal or if they don't win the game, if he doesn't satisfy any criteria for at least one upgrade today, his player price is definitely going to drop. Same thing for DeMarcos and Taglifico who play today. Just keep a very close eye on these cards as they have risen up a ton in price. My Upa Meccanos that I bought at 700k, I mean, we're approaching 800,000 coins now with this card, and it seems crazy, but at the same time, People love live cards, and the upgrade potential is there for a lot of them. So as we go out throughout the weekend, we're going to be watching these cards very closely. There's going to be great opportunities to trade with them, but just like with Road to the Finals, take the opportunity to sell into the hype and not risk it unless you really, really want to. So that's the video for today. There's a lot going on in FIFA today. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this promo. How do you think it's going to go down today? Are EA going to make it a W promo or is this just going to be another week of filler content? Kind of like the showdown promo until we get to foot birthday, which sounds like it's going to be next week. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Peace out.